So today we are going to try to do uh, this kind of effect using After Effects. So the first things first, we are going to create a composition, a new composition here. Um, give or take 10, um, try and put it in like 10 seconds. Click OK. Then we have this, then you come here, right click, go to new, solid. Click OK, you can select any color you want. Then um, let's try and put a text so that it doesn't just look so plain. Text I'm going to write, um, welcome to motion graphics. Okay, then you scale it, adjust it, then you scale it using S. You press um, S on your keyboard, you scale. Press P on your keyboard, then you position it to the way you, where you want it. So try and take note of that. The next point is that you get your um, pen tool. Ensure that it is solid, the fill is solid, and the stroke is solid. Then you draw just two points line. Then um, you try and move the position by clicking P. Then you put your keyframe here. Then go in time like two seconds to know when you want your, how long you want your line to pass through your screen. All right. Okay, let's come back. We play it. This is what we have. Then you alt and click at your keyframe. It gives you this option. You go to properties, go to loop out. This way, when you press play, it continually just loops like that constantly. So that basically it. Will. All you have to do then is now duplicate this your shape layer using Ctrl D to as many lines that you want. And you go to them individually to either resize them in terms of the length, in terms of the thickness. And uh, we're going to do this one first. First things first, we're going to like change the position of the line. Okay. Um, I think we should cancel. Yeah, let's cancel that first. All right. So we we'll start from there. Then stay like um, further down two seconds. We want it to be a bit slower. Then we move. So we said maybe a bit after two seconds, let your line cross or come behind the first line. Because our loop is already active, that's why we have that red color there. It is still going to be looping. Come to the next line. We cancel it. We change the position of that line. And then we thicken it a bit, so it's a bit thick than the other one. Then, um, we shorten this line, go back to the pen tool, then shorten it back, then let's shift it position, let's shift the line close to the edge. All right, then we put our keyframe. Okay, there, we want it to start in next, in this, um, just a few minutes after the first second. And there you go. We want it to come across at that particular time. And here we go. Now, basically, I'm not going to fast forward right now so that I can be able to do all the other lines. You two can still try it. When you do as many lines as you want, you can reduce the length. Once you reduce the length, then you find the position you want it to be on your screen. Then you basically just pick the time frame you want it to go across your uh, screen. As long as your loop out is there from the duplicate uh, shape uh, line you did in the first place, it will just automatically be looping. So you make sure that your looping is set in the very first um, line you create so that you don't have to be doing it all the time for all of them. So that's basically it. So by the time you are done, 
is where you have 